In this lesson, we'll take a look at three real life examples and determine the sign of the first derivative and the sign of the second derivative. Before we do though, let's take a look at the notes below. If f of x is increasing, then the first derivative is positive. If f of x is decreasing, then the first derivative is negative. If the first derivative is increasing, then the second derivative is positive. And if the first derivative is decreasing, then the second derivative is negative. And if we're looking at a graph, if the second derivative is positive, the function is concave up. And if the second derivative is negative, the function is concave down. Let's take a look at our first situation. The population is growing more slowly. Here, f is the population. So here, because the population is growing, the population is increasing, and therefore f prime of x is greater than zero or positive. However, because it's growing more slowly over time, the rate of increase is decreasing, indicating the second derivative is less than zero or negative. And therefore, the correct selection is the first choice. Another approach would be to graph the situation and analyze the graph. So again, if the population is growing over time, but growing more slowly, the population function might look something like this. Or again, notice how the population is growing, but over time it's growing more slowly. Notice how the function is increasing, which is why the first derivative is greater than zero, but the graph is concave down because it's growing more slowly over time, which is why the second derivative is less than zero or negative. For the second example, we have an airplane that lands smoothly. Here, f is the plane's altitude just before it touches down. We know as a plane lands, the altitude is going to be decreasing, and therefore f of x is going to be less than zero or negative. However, in order to have a smooth landing, the altitude would have to be decreasing at an increasing rate, and therefore the second derivative is going to be positive or greater than zero. Now that may sound a little strange. If the rate of decline is increasing, this does not mean the plane is going to be going down faster and faster. It's actually going to be going down slower and slower. For example, 30 seconds from touchdown, the change in altitude might be negative 100 feet per second. 20 seconds before landing, the change in altitude might be negative 50 feet per second. 10 seconds before landing, the change in altitude might be negative 20 feet per second. Five seconds before landing, the change in altitude might be negative five feet per second. And then one second before landing, the change in altitude might be just negative one foot per second. So notice how the altitude is decreasing, which is why the first derivative is negative. But if you look at these values, negative 100, negative 50, negative 20, negative five, negative one, these rates of change are increasing, which is why the first derivative is increasing and the second derivative is positive. So the correct answer is f prime of x less than zero, f double prime of x greater than zero. If we wanted to sketch the graph of the altitude for a smooth landing, it might look something like this. Or notice how the altitude is decreasing because the graph goes down from left to right, which is why the first derivative is less than zero. But because the rate of decrease would have to increase for a smooth landing, notice how we have a graph that's concave up, which is why the second derivative is greater than zero or positive. Let's look at one more example. Stock prices are at their peak where F is the stock price. Well, if the stock price is at a peak, we know this would be a relative maximum or where the graph of the price function would change from increasing to decreasing. So again, if the stock price is at a peak, it would be at this point here, where notice how the first derivative would be equal to zero because the slope of the tangent line would be zero at that point. So the first derivative is equal to zero. And also in order to have a relative maximum, the graph would have to be concave down where the second derivative is less than zero or negative. And therefore, we select f prime of x equals zero, and f double prime of x is less than zero, which is the last choice. I hope you found this helpful.